to Susie Berry and today I'm going to do a little bit of work on my partner and show you how you would sedate, strengthen and control your liver meridian. I'm going to just start off, I'm just currently holding his forehead, my hands are really, really cold right now. Um, he overcrowded himself a little bit last night and so his liver is not that happy. And so quite often when your liver is not that happy, you actually end up with floaters in your eyes. And he's thankfully not got that. But if you do have that, this is a really great way of getting rid of those and dealing with any eye issues. If your eyes are feeling dry or just a little bit stingy, if you're feeling really hungover, then working with your liver meridian is a really, really great start. So you can just hold on to your own head and I know a lot of the time it just seems like that seems just too simple. <laughs> You're just holding there for a couple of minutes, just keeping your, your fingers on your, your liver meridian, your vasculars, which run just along your hairline and your neurovasculars, which um, the main neurovasculars on the front of your forehead, it just really helps to get it in sync. So that could be a really nice start to the day if you feel like you really can't get out of bed. Just lie in bed. Put your hands on your head and just relax and let go and be kind to yourself for the rest of the day. Okay. Quite often when you're out and about you think that drinking is being kind to yourself and the next day you realise it's really not. <laughs> so it's a really great start. So just holding on to your head. So at the liver points. Um, the other thing that is really good for is letting go of anger. So if you're kind of frustrated, um, this is going to be really helpful for that. So these points that I'm holding on my partner, you can get a partner to do it on you if you're very lucky enough to have one. If you don't, you can always hold them on yourself. They work just as well. It's just not quite as relaxing if you can't lie down in the bed. But I'm going to show you where you would hold them on yourself and where you'd so you're going to start off with sedating points. So you're going to start with um, Art Meridian, which is just along this little line. If you just curve your, your fourth finger down, it just sits right there, right underneath it. And your liver tube, which is in the little gap in between your um, second and big toe, just in here. So you're going to hold there. So if you're by yourself, then you're just going to be sitting, holding it kind of like that. Just hold in there for a couple of minutes. Just with one, one hand just resting on the gap between your big toe and the one next to it, and the other hand just holding underneath your fourth finger on that little line. Okay, so you're just going to hold there for a few minutes while I hold the same points on my partner. So. Before I start, I'm just going to show you why I decided to do this. And so I'm going to show you what I would normally do with a client, which is a pulse test to check for over energy in a meridian. So with the liver, um, actually I'm going to come around the outside so it shows you a bit easier. So with the liver meridian, you can use the, the spleen test as a general indicator test or the gallbladder test as a general indicator test. So what I would do first of all is just with the gallbladder, just make sure it's good testable muscle. So I'm going to push down, and you're going to resist against the press, okay? So just hold, and I'm just going to pinch in, make sure it's gallbladder's testable muscle, and again hold. Okay, so that little pinch just lets me know that his gallbladder is responsive and will let me get good answers. So the point, the pulse point that you want to check when you're testing for liver over over energized is if you bring the three fingers to the wrist just underneath the thumb, you're gonna use your middle finger. So just see how the other two. Just bring up your arm so it's 30 degrees first, and I'm gonna push in deep, and then you're gonna try your resist. And he well, can't. <laughs> okay, so that's basically why I chose to, to do that test. To show you that he's got an over energized already. So I'm going to use the sedation points now. So just going to hold in at your heart meridian. 
and a little bit in between the big toe and second toe. And I'm just going to hold here for a few minutes. Okay. And just while I do so, I would like you to think of the colours green and red. Be kind to yourself. When I'm holding these spikes on myself, I quite often like to imagine giving myself roses and thinking about things that are really deeply important to me. So the heart is all about loving yourself deeply, as you could say. And the birds like being kind to yourself. So just imagining doing different things that are kind to you. This is why it's really good for you if you can get a partner because it's all good. Get that love, but make sure that your partner returns the favor at a later date. You can always come back to this video and watch it again. Your partner can do it with you. Are you going to come up and join us? Yeah? Come on. You going to get some healing? Yay! Yeah. So Chris is going to get some cat healing as well. <laughs> So with these points, it's quite a good idea to give them a good massage and a rub. They might be a little bit tender, so if they are, just make sure you ask your partner if they enjoy that or not. Is that okay? Is that sure okay? You can move your fingers in a little quicker weight pattern here. I'm all in pink today because I'm going down to the sky. I'm going to be working there. And there they have uh, sweet aerobics, which is a really great way to get your liver moving as well. Because it's really all about stretching out your lymphatic system. It's a really lovely little place down in Mother Road in Glasgow. If you have a chance to check out the sky and be kind to yourself, you can go along and check out what you can do there. Depending on how much the person that you're working with has been biased or just pushed themselves or perhaps is just really, really angry, you may find this takes longer or it may be quite busy. You might find the energy can be a little bit electric when you're holding on to these points. Um, just now I feel rather sluggish holding them, so I'm just going to fold the front of the wheel and then shift. You can tell me when you feel a shift, Chris. So when liver is really over energized, it's holding on to that energy, it's not letting the energy go to the heart and that's why we're holding these two points together here and allowing the liver to say okay I'm going to release some energy to the heart to be able for it to love yourself so just thinking about different reasons why you should love yourself is very good to do as well and I know that can be very difficult for a lot of people so even perhaps just thinking about some compliments that you've received over the past few while Not make sure you be very lovable with others.
you know, that is part of the reason that I was drawn to working in nurture and to this being in my garden room here is that I have to get a little bit angry now and again. But um, yeah, green is really good at balancing out your, your anger levels. So that's me starting to feel a nice pulse in my eye. So I'm going to just recheck Chris, see if you're still over energy. Okay, nice and strong. Okay, so I'm going to check for under energized then. So I'm going to push back towards your, your head when you try and stop. Are you trying? Yeah? Okay. So, so Chris is under energized. So actually before I started doing the video, he actually held strong to that test, but now I've managed to weaken him, which makes me think actually his system was trying to stop change from happening. So I had to sedate it. So sometimes even if your energy seems really strong, sedation is a really good idea. So I'm going to strengthen it up now, okay? So your strengthening points are liver and kidney. So this is a really good one for, for any of you working by yourself because you can literally hold both points at the same time. So all you're gonna do is bring your hand into a B, put it on your knee. And I'm gonna do the same for Chris. I can do both, both legs at the same time. So this is a nice, fast, zippy one. Okay. So if you're wanting to look them up, they are kidney eight and liver, sorry, liver eight and kidney 10. So they're a really good one to work with. So a lot of the time when you've been out for a night, you might be, uh, if you're a woman that has a great love for heels, then you might be really feeling it in your knees today. So giving them a good rub and massaging them as you hold those points is a really good idea. Okay. So. Are you comfortable with doing it up like that or are you bringing it up on purpose? You can do it either way. You okay? No. So I'm just going to come to the knee points, bring my hands into a little B, and just hold here for a couple of minutes. So your kidney and liver. So kidney is all about stepping forward with courage and being kind to yourself. And I, that is something that a lot of people struggle with. A lot of people think that being kind to themselves is perhaps selfish, but actually it's one of the least selfish things you can do. I'm just going to open your blinds a little bit. Is that okay, Chris? Okay. I don't want to do this earlier because it's really suffering. <laughs> Bring a little bit of light into this. I can actually get up and do what it needs to do once I'm finished. So just holding on there. So thinking about things that you can do in your life that are courageous steps forward. And for some people that might be starting to run a business or for others that might just be remembering to put the bins out on time. So just really acknowledge where you're at and uh, be proud of where you've come from and moving forward each day. So, just being kind to yourself, not begrudging what you have to do, um, really acknowledging who you are as a person today. Um, you can think of things that you like that are blue and green. If you want to, you can close your eyes now, you don't have to follow the video, you can just relax. Actually, in Chris, a little bit, a bit of knotted muscle under there, and you can get some good rub while you're working on The great thing about doing acupressure massage is it's just acupressure points, so you can use a few fingers, you don't need to be exactly perfect or 
point material which is now being married in as a whole. Although these two egg parts do have their own individual connections in with other meridians, and that's why um, the whole thing in a specific way is you know, slightly complex. Um, and this whole understanding of the polarity too big. If you want to find out about that, then leave me a comment um, and feedback in the YouTube section. So for our first we've got a really big day ahead of us, so we've got to do a lot of computer leg working. Um, so that takes a lot of courage. So I want to make sure that the point gets really, really strong and you feel really confident about doing that. But more importantly that you know that you have to get the point out of that badly. So quite often when you get stuck into a project, you get really heads in it, you're in the game and you don't take time out to look after yourself. So really making sure we have a good balance where we were we're working definitely got with the courage but you also need to yourself as you do so. Feel little pulse along my finger. You feel now shifting your leg? Making policy, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, quite often, when you're working with acupressure points, it seems like such a simple thing to do, but quite often it can have a really deep, long lasting effect. Um, I'm going to move on to the next part. Okay, so I'm just going to shake my hands off. It's quite a lot of energy picked up around his knees. So the control point, so this is just making sure that the sedating and strengthening points actually hold the, the energy that's moved is kept in place now. So you're going to bring one hand to lung eight and the other one to liver four. So liver four just sits right in front of the ankle. So if you bring your finger to the second toe and you're just going to draw a line straight up from the second toe and just in front of the ankle bone just here. So um, you can get some really good pictures of these points from the inner source.net. Um, this point's actually quite sore, so I'm going to get a really good rub. I'm going to make sure that I rub it really quite hard and, and press. So lever four and lung eight is your last set of points. Sit down for this one. Lung is connected with the pedal point or silver and liver is green. So I quite like to think of the daisies and the 
feels the crack. Joy, whatever images you can think of that are white and green or silver and green to bring you back to joy, to so just go for that. Lung is all about breathing in fresh inspiration and letting go in sorrows. And in the feedback for this little video, it'd be really great if you tell me different things that you like to do that are kind of to yourself. As I said, these videos don't have to be watched in order. You can always come back to this video. If you started off the video with filters and end up without them, I would love to hear about that. So please let me know. Okay, I'm going to just swap over, come to the other ankle. There's a really great little um, video that I've got called uh, Long Day Exhaustion Elimination and that has a lovely little exercise that you can do to let go of any anger in your liver as well. It's called Expelling Venom. And just when you're breathing in, you just let go and you're like, shh. Or if you notice it, it's just like a little jerk there, which will let you know that that energy is kind of shifted. So I'm gonna let you just sit and lie there for a little while, just to let it all sink in. I'm gonna show you guys a few more little stretches that you can do to help your liver. Okay, so. You're going to get yourself into butterfly position. It's really great for stretching out your liver meridian. So bring your feet as close to your body as possible. Grabbing your feet with your hands and just stretching down, just pushing down in your thighs, giving your liver a really great stretch out. So just taking some really nice deep breaths. I've got myself a nice comfortable cushion here. You can rock back and forth to your pillow. And that is just a little coincidence of what we've been planning to do butterfly position for this video. And I just decided to put on butterfly leggings first thing this morning. It's just all coming together. So uh, I'm just going to have gratitude for nice little synchronicity in your life. So just, you might want to push down one leg on the other. You might find the one is capable of stretching a little bit more. Just lap your little butterfly wing. And just breathe nice and deep. Your back nice and straight, head tall. I'm just giving your feet a nice good rest. Bring your hands 
had his three-point liver meridian technique and hopefully you've done the same giving yourself a nice little stretch out in your hips um, so thanks a lot for for watching today and have a fantastic day bye bye